Hey, this is Craig, Software Architect for Switch Hat SMA, and I've got a quick little tutorial for you today. Actually, this is uh, not going to be quite as much of a tutorial as I'd like, but I'm going to keep it short and simple. And this is in regards to uh, bringing video into your mobile applications. You know, we all want to bring um, video components into our mobile apps. Uh, the thing that intrigues me the most is that um, one thing I'm interested in is creating really dynamic video uh, content. But I'd like to hide that in a mobile application behind some type of a paywall or subscription-based um, system. So in order to do that, we need to start with some real fundamentals. And what I want to give you today is uh, uh, a very, very simple way to start this. Now, this isn't how we're going to end up, keep in mind. Um, what I'm actually going to do in the next uh, episodes is I'm going to show you how to build a custom video player with stop, start, pause, uh, rewind uh, all the controls, the buffering um, labels, and, and so on and so forth. And then I want to show you how to hide that behind a dynamically populated XML list and then ultimately put a paywall in front of it so that you can possibly even charge for your uh, video content. Uh, but to get started, to get to a little bit of an understanding of how this all works is video can be very tricky in a mobile application because you've got um, all types of different uh, different bit rates and um, uh, systems that are out there uh, as far as what wants to feed your mobile application uh, the video. Um, the second thing would be all the different types of devices that are available. Um, not everything is going to stream in 4G like it's going to stream in 3G. You've got different screen resolutions and so on. And so in order to make everything work, what I like to do is I like to try to keep it as simple as possible. And for me, what I've decided is I just want to produce 720p videos, uh, 720 by 480, and then I want to work with a little bit of scaling on those and, um, and make them really quick to load into the mobile application, whether that's a phone uh, or it is a, a tablet. So in this um, particular project here, I've got uh, a, an application labeled NewVid, and this is a simple action script only project. Um, again, in the next episode uh, or two, I want to show you how to build a full custom uh, skin wrapped around your video player and something that's really polished and pretty and uh, has all the controls and, and something that is really, really lean and, and, and simple to, to work with. But here what we've got is we've got a simple uh, action script package. And what we're going to do is we're just going to align our video to the top of the stage. I'm going to scroll down just a little bit and I want to show you that I've got a... Uh, I use Amazon Web Services for my streaming video player. Now, if you're familiar at all with the streaming video server um, uh, that Amazon uh, has, the S3 bucket is the one that I use, or the S3 component. And then I, of course, have my buckets in there with my videos. And one thing that you have to understand is that if you're going to be piping your videos into a mobile application in Flash, or that's Flash-based, like the one we're going to build here. The video player that we're going to use uh, is using Flash Player already. Okay, so when we go to bundle our application, we're going to have a fat Flash video player featuring our, our uh, video that is streaming from our Amazon uh, S3 bucket. So we don't have to bundle that video with its own player like we would if we wanted to pipe out uh, a video to, uh, say, a web application, a website, or whatever. If we're going to do that, then we're going to want to use uh, Amazon's CloudFront. And then we're going to ha want to have the video in that package and the video player. So for me, I just use the uh, S3 uh, component. I put a bucket in there. I put the videos in. And I've optimized them through Adobe to, as you can see here, I just like the F4V um, file type that, uh, that works best for me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and launch this real quick just to show you. And I'm going to set this up for a Droid X. I'm going to run it on the desktop here. Keep in mind, I do have this running on my phone. I use a uh, Samsung Galaxy S3. Works phenomenal. So right here, what we've got is we've got a video. This is one of the videos I have on YouTube. And uh, this pops right up. This is going to stream very, very quickly, um, very smoothly. And uh, I'm, I'm really digging this whole thing. So. Um, in the future, <clears throat> what's really important for me, and hopefully uh, this is something you're interested in, is that uh, to stream video out and to protect that video and maybe even make some money on that video, uh, I want to show you how to build a, uh, a nice little system to be able to do that. 
And um, so I look forward to um, giving you some new tutorials here coming up. Hopefully some of this helps. I know this is really fast, really simple. But if you keep watching, I'm going to get a little bit more into the weeds and help you figure things out. This is Craig with Switch Hat. Have a great day. Bye-bye.